No one else knows you here. So tread careful. Okay? Sure. The boss finished yet? Nah, you got more time to sit on your ass. <sighs> Who's the new guy? Cabby. Are closed for you, I'm afraid. Come back later with Polly or Sammy. Anyways, I got places to be. Okay, come through this way. I'll take you to Vinny first. He's a loudmouth, but Frank and Adon have known him since forever. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do any, uh, heavy lifting. He makes sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. Grateful for your business. And we're grateful for his dough. But we gotta go. wants to do this again. Ciao, Polly. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey, you just need bean shooters or rods? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. This classic should do the trick. <laughs> <laughs> If the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. Ay, ay, ay. Careful with them, though. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten it out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got away with cars. I don't get how this more gets into her. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. Hey, genius! <laughs> get your head out of your ass! <laughs> what the fuck, dear Papa Polly? You can't, can't, can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a little limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> we ain't nothing alike. You got that, Ralph? Sure, 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 sure Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a crack deck. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 rod, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. You're driving. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. I don't know what Ralph's trying to pull giving us this motor. I wanna show you something about the good life and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Hey, the guy's fine. It's good to get a change from the cat. You don't have to be nice about it. Stings a tin can. So, was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop-off. The cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you gonna torch? He's got more friends on the force than us. We're okay. 
As long as we're careful. An eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey. Try careful. We don't need the attention. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through. You want a bottle? Just ask. We'll keep some back for friends. Hello? Uh, we got cops. Either lose them or pay the fine, I guess. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used to tip back bathtub gin most days, but not so much now. That stuff's no good for you. You don't have to go blind now, though. To us, you got a line in the good stuff. Well, it's good of you. Thanks. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. Best tables, best food, best skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> I got you to protect me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. to Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri's streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk in a wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Okay, it's close by. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some guerrilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. <sighs> Foster said this out on what chops. Yeah, he's got his main guys. You'll get there some. good for it. Hey! What the hell are you doing? What do you mean, what am I doing? 
do. I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? Look out here. Dino. Dino, what the hell are you doing back there? Who are you? A guy who don't know what idiot told you to keep look out here. Dino. Dino told me. Dino? It's only a man. Huh? Hey! Ah, Christ, Tom! Yeah, Lord, bigger guy You're too! You're not seen! Hey! Christ! Let's get to these cars. Take your back and start swinging. Some kind of death wish? Hmm? Hey! Ha! Putting you son hmm. of a <clears throat> so like that. You got it. Come <clears throat> on, Tom, quick. There's gonna be more of them. Use a Molotov and let's see some flames. Throw the fire! Love the smell of burning paper. Oh yeah, Morella through when I heard. Whole block heard that. We gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car. I'm gonna know where you keep. Reports of burning vehicles and gunfire in North Park. It's right near Morello's place. Don't bring in the wrong people. Old ways are the best ways. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the bull show. Got a hit. There's two. Don't let him get away. Come on, you bastards. Officers have seen him. No one's <laughs> Oh, shit. We got cops. So, uh, what do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Sounds good. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get them real pissed. Try, Tom. Try. <laughs> okay, we lost them. Stay out of sight till they lose interest. See the boss. I thought Cilieri had cops on the books. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. How'd it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Drive careful. We don't need the attention. Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah, I guess it did. No time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? This life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. I doubt that every day you and Sam go and panel beat motors in parking lots. Eh, there's busy days, there's slow days. Had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? 
Nah, still enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle or... Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made, or you like Carlo, whose pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trusted more when you're starting out. There's plenty of us who came in off the street. I'm thinking we get you in front of the boss, then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. The plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. I sent you out with. Well, why? Better. Up of a better car with a, a, a broken window? Fresh air never killed nobody. Still with you then? Somehow, yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not going to be able to think straight for weeks. See, that's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella, he's a hothead. And all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Now, Polly and Sam have already vouched for you, but you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Salieri. Then I'm gonna only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on apparel because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy? They're loyal. That's right. 
Now, you stay straight with me. You're going to be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. <sighs> Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Welcome to the family. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook, but his daughter Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on! <laughs> I got what did you I know? Finish it off. You, Tommy? Come on, just steal a gas yeah. and get it back! Yeah. Boss is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. There he is. <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive? Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Probably just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. Spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the car. Just the guy. I saw this, and I thought of you. You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Not at me, you moron. Good posture, real mean. Bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay, now show me a reload. I open the chamber and away you go. All right, last thing. Needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind some and don't shit yourself. Thanks, Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey. The boss, Vincenzo. You. You, you, you know how to g g get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And an afternoon to f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Learn. You're a regular magician, Ralphie. You got it. 
Have a good day, Fuffa fellas. First we got Al. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. Eh, that's too bad. A regular exercise program. Okay, this is it. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha! Not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any tr trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money? I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's just the world. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia? Where's the money? Perron, fetcha! Voi ci succhiate in sangue! It's on the table, brown envelope! Via di qui! Lasciateci in pace! I got it. We'll see you next month, Al. Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. <laughs> and give our best to your ma, huh? Okay, next up we got old Eugene's place. China store up on Tallow. He's not dead yet? Almost. Heard his nephew's taking over. 